No, despite being the country's leader, the Jomo Kenyatta had a fear of ghosts and strange happenings as state house Nairobi, leading him to only spend one documented night there. During his entire presidency, he often complained of hearing frogs and other unsettling noises at the residence, opting instead to stay at his home in Gatundu. In contrast, his son Uhuru Kenyatta operated from status without any public complaints of supernatural occurrences. According to Duncan Degwa, a close associate of the late MZ Jomo Kenyatta, in January 1969, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta spent only one night at State House Nairobi during his 14 years in office. In spite of his rare occurrence, it is said that Mzee Jomo Kenyatta had not slept all night and was forced to drive in the middle of the night to his Gatundu home. Dewa went on to explain that, because of his belief that the presence of ghosts of white people and frogs caused disturbances throughout the night, Kenyatta avoided spending the night in the status. Unlike his father, Uhuru Kenyatta opted to stay mainly at Status Nairobi, where most of his tasks were carried out. The hosting of the cabinet meeting at State House Nairobi during his term was a notable event, but 2014 was an important year in terms of unveiling new government and principal secretaries. State House served as a key gathering place for important meetings among government officials for both Daniel Moy and Moy Kibaki during their respective tenure. Only individuals considered essential for managing government matters were given access to the State House, which was considered a place of great influence. When Moy was not in Nairobi during his reign, he frequently chose to spend his time at the State House in Nakuru County. In the same way, Kibaki used status as both his principal home and a private gathering place for himself and his cabinet ministers. Both governments strictly limited access uh, to the status, prohibiting visits that were not absolutely necessary, and mandated that the ministers make appointments in advance for meetings with the president. This is Cuban news.